a great class. We're going to go through the July examination revision um, for terminology. It's a quiz on my Google Classroom, so if you want to watch the video and then do the quiz, you're more than welcome to. Or if you want to possibly um, do the quiz while watching the video, that's also fine. Okay, so this is question four, but actually question one on here, for the simple reason that it made, uh, when I printed it, it made question two and three the name in the surname. Let's go through this. A type of reproduction in humans where a fetus develops inside the uterus that is called vivipari, viviparis. Uh, so vivipari, let me just get my pen here. Viviparis, um, and then as opposed to oviparis, where we have X. Remember, I told you, um, or we can also say vivipari. Remember, I told you with X, we're producing X. Remember, the O looks like an X, so it's oviparis, but vivipari is when I have a uterus and then has a fetus developed inside the uterus. Then we have a combination of the two where we produce eggs but it's kept inside the body which is ovoviviparis and you can hear it's a combination between the two. Structures found in an only animal cells that are formed by the spindle fiber during cell division. Ladies and gentlemen, remember that this is the centrihole and I can also call it the centrosome for you guys, um, but it's not the centromere. It's not the centromere, so it's this little device that splits and forms the spindle fibers, but the centromere is the one on the, in the middle of the two, of the two legs of the chromosome, of the chromatids of the specific replicated chromosome. But we, over here, we're talking about that little structure over there. And before it starts forming the spinal fiber, it's together, the centriole or centrosome. The movement of the part of the plant that responds to gravity, okay? So that is my geotropism. Tropism meaning movement, growth movement. Geo meaning earth, moving towards the earth. Ladies and gentlemen, um, or according to the Earth, we can also call it gravitropism, but that is not a word we use much in gray. Uh, we ought to use geotropism for you guys. The amount of carbon dioxide produced by the individual per unit time as a result of his or her activities is called the carbon footprint, and it's part of human impact. Um, that you did in grade 11. The stage in humans where sexual maturity is reached in males and females is called puberty, and you should be in this stage now, puberty. A human disorder caused by non-disjunction of the chromosome number 21 is trisomy 21, um, and the, the, the disorder we call down syndrome. Down syndrome. The stage of protein synthesis during which mRNA forms the DNA, ladies and gentlemen, that is, of course, transcription. You have transcription, then you have translation, and this is transcription. Structure in different organisms that have a similar basic plan, which suggests that they have a common Ancestor starts with the word homo, meaning the same, similar um, structures, are the similar basic plan, and this is homologous structures. The position of a gene on a chromosome, it's called its locus. Think of location, locus, the position. Please don't confuse that one with allele. That's not the allele. 
that is the place where it is, it's the locus. Okay. The type of variation in a population with no intermediate phenotypes. Uh, so it's not continuous, so it's discontinuous because there's, um, there's no intermediate. So discontinuous, uh, for example, uh, discontinuous variation. Um, so eye color, um, uh, the fact that the earlobes are attached or not, um, the bell uh, or roll, uh, roller and non-rollers, those are all discontinuous variation, as opposed to continuous variation like light, where we get a range of diff different options. Then, the A and B, A, B, A or B or none question. A type of development in birds in which offspring is poorly developed at birth and are thus unable to feed themselves is altricial development. I told you guys to remember A after they develop after birth, while with pre cochial development we find that they are pre developed before birth. Um, so uh, also remember when writing this to write the word only, B only. Forms the placenta. Both the chorion, the villi, and the endometrium, chorionic villi and the endometrium, from the baby side and from the mother side, they form the placenta from the baby side. So if this is baby, and this is the umbilical cord, and then that connects to those little finger-like extensions, the chorionic villi, and then from the mother side, you have the endometrium wall, that also extends and they make a connection there. So it forms from the babies and the mother's side. So A and B, both, both A and B, that question. The state of the blood vessels of the skin of a human when the environmental temperatures are high, I'm gonna dilate, which means I'm increasing the size, the thickness of the blood vessels going to the skin, more heat will be lost via the skin. Also, there will be more sweat forming because more blood is getting to the sweat glands, more sweat forming, that cools down the body in the hot temperatures. 1.3.4, having access to enough food and good quality at all times, that is the food security's definition. So it's not neither one of these two. So that is this question, none. 1.3.5, reproductive isolating mechanisms in plants. They can flower at different times of the year, so they don't get pollinated at the same time of the year. Or, and also, they can have different pollinators, uh, because if you get pollinated by a bee and I get pollinated by a butterfly, there's no way in which our pollen is going to mix, and that's called the reproductive isolating mechanism. Uh, isolate my reproduction. And that is it, great Charles. Please go complete the quiz. Thank you very much.